Welcome to Sparrow Tree Episode 2. With this time we're gonna do Cloud Spire. In this stage there is a few things you have to remember. These opponents, you have to fly over their wing bash and spit fire on them. You probably figured that out already, so don't worry. I should probably not tell you that either, because who needs that information anyway? Alright. <clears throat> First of all, there is this PlayStation achievement on here. An achievement that actually requires uh, you fly for five seconds. Literally fly for five seconds, land safely after five seconds. Normally, you will actually jump up, up there and then you fly over here. Well, that's the easiest way of doing it. But that's actually up to you. As we proceed through the stage here, remember to take all the gems along. If you don't, then you just have to go back after them. Let's fly to the other side. The metal armor, those. That part we already figure out that we have to have to ram these the metal armor images. Don't worry about that. That part we all wouldn't know. Alright. Ooh, yep. It's not actually dangerous to fall into this hole because there is actually something down there to catch you. I actually flew over that guy. Stephanie! Alright. There is plenty of gems in this stage to actually go around and collect. There's also plenty of eggs. And there is two stages besides the world here you actually have to go into. Yes, stage within a stage. There is actually a lot of that in this game where you actually have to enter a stage to actually proceed on. So what we're gonna start with is that we burn this contact and move up. And now the first greedy bastard is coming. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite... Ooh, yeah. and singing remember to get your longest glide press the all righty then <clears throat> Remember all the gems, because they are sneaky in this stage, they're hiding behind pillars and all that. Alright, I think we have them all. As we are nearly done... Now it starts raining. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, Henry! Alright, let's go into the first stage within a stage. In this stage, you actually have to burn the sun. And you actually have to do it three times where you actually burn the sun and move the most. I cannot actually burn that. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm gonna do it in a minute. First, gonna take the first room, and you can also just burn it out here. And you're literally just gonna follow it and burn it, and then it actually goes all the way to where you actually want it to be. After you deliver the first one, you can go into these rooms and actually collect, because you actually don't actually have to be down. And the other runs, you actually have to go up on the pillar. Yeah. 
Here we go. I think we have all the gems in here. As we move on, we want to take the next one. There we go. And now the last sun. Better turn off this smoke. Yeah, filthy habit. No. <clears throat> there we go. Now we have all the three suns, and they kind of combine into one final sun. <laughs> That's one happy song. And we're gonna have Lulu. And now that we're done with collecting all the gems in here, we can actually check. Oh, well, I'm actually not done. Still missing something. Wonder where I forgot that. Oh, yeah. Now we have to go out. That was a sneaky one. Go to the next one. And here we actually have to fly and burn these bad spirits. Of course, I missed the first one because I'm bad. Here we go. <laughs> I simply just couldn't hit that one single one. Jake, hello Jake, welcome to. All right. Now let's go around and collecting the gems and the thieves. Yeah, thieves. How don't we just love to actually running around catching the thieves? Like the best feature in the game. Because that's the only thing that is fun and annoying at the same time. And it really is. I mean, it's fun and annoying at the same time. There is like, actually none tricks you can actually use to catch this one faster. So what you're just going to do is try to follow him. And I did badly there. I wanted to turn a little bit early, but I couldn't. There we go. I got Brian. Hello, Brian. All right. <clears throat> All right, and I guess we can find our way out again as we are done with this. Now what we actually have to do is actually not run this way. Now that I just reminded myself. We actually have to run this way. Yes, we actually go back in the stage now because that's what we need to do. And actually take another lap because we're not completely done yet. You probably already guessed that when it didn't say 100% when you actually completed this part. So what we're gonna do here is actually this claimer has activated, so that's where we're gonna go up. And there you actually get a free life. Then you're gonna move up. Yeah, that was a sneaky jump. I probably wouldn't have done it. Ooh, fire. Sneaky fire. And after this, the gym should be done. No, I'm missing a five. And welcome, Claire. All right. Where am I missing it? I'm missing it down there. Oh, 
Ah, it's an even more bad. Well, I guess I did something wrong then. Where is it pointing? It's pointing over there. So I guess it's over here somewhere. Yes, it is. There we go. Stage 100%. That was the first stage. I hope it helped a little bit. There is not really much to guide in this video. But I hoped it helped a little bit, this little guide. And I hope you can use it for something. Else I will just feel bad. And I know I can just go into the menu and exit level, but... New people actually don't want to do that. And people have gone through the game. We're gonna go all the way to the exit. Then we also have more time to chat, you know? It's always fun. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. And the goal is right over here. Return home. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I'll see you in the next one where we're gonna free and actually do the stage for Sheila. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!